Hey, what's up, guys? This is Dark Arm Duels, and today we're doing a Tendangol Shadal deck profile. So I'm really excited to show you guys this deck because this is a very interesting flip effect based deck that combines two really interesting archetypes in the form of Shadals and Tendangles into one really interesting flip effect based deck. So without further ado, guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell there so you can come part of the notification squad, and definitely check out the Patreon down in the description below for all those awesome rewards like getting your name in the description every single video, getting assigned cards in the mail, and even getting to request a deck profile every single month your patron along with test hands and without further ado let's get straight on into this so first off we're going to be playing three copies of tendangle dreth which is a very interesting card for this particular deck it has the ability that you can flip this card and then whenever it's flipped face up you get to take one flip effect monster and either from your deck and either add it to your hand or send it to the graveyard so basically it's a searcher and a foolish barrel wrapped up into one it also has the ability that if this card is in your hand you can discard one other card to be able to send one tendangle card from your deck to the graveyard to be able to special summon this card in face down defense which is really awesome because you want to get as many monsters on the field as possible in face down defense position in this deck we then play three copies of Tendangle Intruder, which is a very interesting card as well. When this card is flipped face up, you get to add a Tendangle card from your deck to your hand. It also has another effect as well, because when this card is normal summon, you get to send a Tendangle card from your deck to the graveyard. And if a monsters is special summoned to your field in face down defense position, when this card's in your graveyard, special summon this card in face down defense position, this is not optional. It's like, hey, I'm coming back to the field right now. And you only use each effect of this card once per turn. But it's a really good card because it's a searcher. And being able to special summon this card face down is just a really good effect. We then play two copies of Tendangle Trinity. This card is a very interesting card. It has the ability, to say the least, especially for the artwork, but it has the ability that when it's flipped face up, you get to special summon one Tendangle base Gardna from your deck, which is a really good effect as well, just to get your copies of your base Gardna onto your side of the field so you can go into some really good link plays. And if this card was flipped face up, your uh, Tendangle monsters cannot be destroyed by battle. And if this card is sent to the graveyard, it's link material for the link summon of a Tendangle monster, you can add a uh, Gorgon's End from your deck to your hand. And if you do, send a Spell Trap from your deck to the graveyard, which is a pretty good effect for this particular deck. We then play a single copy of Tendangle Angel. I just play one copy of Angel because it's a really good card, but I just feel like one is fine. When it's flip face up, you could special summon a flip monster from your hand or graveyard in face down defense, except another copy itself. Then if it is your opponent's battle phase in the battle phase, which is a pretty good effect, but you don't need too many of these cards. Just one is totally fine. We then play a single copy of Base Gardener. Base Gardener is a very interesting card for this deck as well. And it's pretty good as well because it's, it's a level five, so you don't ever want to draw it, but you can get it out with Trinity really easy, which is why you play it as a one of. If you control a face down defense solution monster, you can special summon this card from your hand and defense solution and you only affect this card once per turn. If this card is normal or special summoned and it now is pointed to by an opponent's link monster, then you can tribute this card to special summon a 10 dangle monster from your hand or deck in attack position or face down defense. The special summon effect is really good, but you usually want to special summon this card off of Trinity because then it's just a free summon from deck, which is why I say you don't want to have this card in your hand. We then play a single copy of 10 dangle to holes. To holes is really interesting because it has the ability to be able to send a spell or trap from your deck to the graveyard, but it's a level five, so you just play it as a one of in the deck. It also has the ability, if this card is sent from the hand or the deck to the graveyard, you get to target a 10 dangle monster in your graveyard, except another copy itself, and special summon it in face down defense position. You only expect this card once per turn, and a 10 dangle link monster that used this card as a material can attack three times during each battle phase, which is really, really good when you get into the link monster that this deck plays. I then play two copies of Terrifying Torment. This card is a really really interesting card for this deck you get to flip when this card is flipped summon you get to send a level you get to send a fiend monster from your deck to the graveyard which is pretty good and if this card is sent from the hand or deck to the graveyard you get to special summon this card in face down defense solution which is a really really good effect we then play three copies of tour guide as well tour guide is a really good three of in this deck because she's going to get you into some really good link plays in this build and she also is just going to help you get into some good plays overall we then play for the shed all package a single copy of shed all windy windy has the ability that when she's flipped face up you get to special summon a shadow monster from the deck and face up or face down defense but if she's sent from the uh or she's sent to the graveyard by a card effect you can special summon a shadow monster from your deck and face down defense now keep in mind as you're playing your shadows they all share the same effect that you can only activate either or of their effects per turn you can't activate both effects in the same turn 
We then play a single copy of Shadow Beast. If this card is flipped face up, you draw two, and then you discard one. If it's sent to the graveyard, you get to draw a card. One copy of Shadow Dragon. If this card is flipped face up, you get to target a monster that your opponent controls, or target any card your opponent controls, and return to the hand. And then if this card is sent to the graveyard, it pops a spell or trap. Then we play a single copy of Hedgehog. Hedgehog is actually really good, and I consider playing Hedgehog at two in this build, because when it's flipped face up, you get to add a Shadow Spell or Trap from your deck to your hand. And if it's sent to the graveyard, you get to add a Shadow Monster from your deck to your hand. This card's really good because you can kind of flip-flop your monsters a little bit with this deck and it's a really good card to be able to just constantly get you searches so i did think about not playing the dragon and playing double hedgehog in this deck just a thought for you guys as well we then play three copies of ash blossom just to stop your opponent from touching the deck it's a really really good card and for my light target for my shadow construct i play two copies of effect veiler as well the effect veilers come in handy because they can stop your opponent's uh, monster effects so it's a really really good card overall in the deck as a two of so that's it for the monsters guys let's get into to the spells. So for the spells, we're going to be playing a single copy of Foolish Burial because it's a really good card to help you get some of your cards into the graveyard that you want there. We play two copies of Foolish Burial Goods. Foolish Burial Goods will help you send some of your spell cards to the graveyard and some of your traps that have effects that are in the graveyard and it helps you thin the deck a little bit too. We play three copies of Shadow Fusion. The Shadow Fusions come in really, really handy in this deck as well because this card lets you fusion summon using monsters from your deck, which is really, really good in this deck because it's going to let you special summon out a copy of Shadow Winda or a copy of your Shadow Construct, which is also a very, very powerful card to be able to fusion summon into, into this deck. And it's a really good play to go into those cards. We then play three copies of Nigel's Protection. Nigel's Protection is a really interesting card as well. It lets Tendango monsters in your main monster zone uh, cannot be destroyed by battle or by opponent's card effects. And then once per turn, if a your Tendango monster inflicts battle damage to your opponent, the damage is doubled as well, which is a really really insane effect. Then you can manage this card from the graveyard and discard a Tendangle card to add another Nigel's Protection from your deck to your hand, which is really good because it's why you play the Foolish Burial Goods. It's because you can essentially search this card off itself by banishing it from the graveyard and discarding a Tendangle, which helps you get some of your Tendangles in the graveyard so you can use different effects to get them back. So that's it for the spells, guys. Let's get into the traps. So for the traps, we're going to be playing three of the Tendangle Trap. This card is really insane. It's kind of like a soul charge in a way because it has the ability that when you take um battle damage from an opponent's attacking monster while you have three or more tendangle monsters with different names in your graveyard you can destroy this the attacking monster and if you do special summon one tendangle acute cerberus from your extract and if you do if you uh control no monsters in your extra monster zone you manage to carve in the graveyard and then target three tendangle monsters with different names in your graveyard and special summon them in face down vents which is the soul charge effect that i was talking about but getting out that copy of Acute Cerberus is really, really good in this deck. We then play three copies of World Legacy World Pawn or World Legacy Pawns. This card is really good because it lets you target a face down monster you control and change it to face of attack or face down fence position. And you can also use crawlers in this deck if you want to, but I don't. So being able to just flip flop your monsters is the big effect that you're using with this card. So that's it for the um, that's it for the traps, guys. Let's get into the extra deck. So for the extra deck, we're going to be playing two copies of El Shadal Winda. El Shadal Winda is the main one that you're going to be summoning because she's going to be able to make it so neither player can special summon more than once per turn, which is a really good effect. She also lets you grab a Shadal Spoiler Trap if she's sent to the graveyard, which is a really good effect as well. We then play double Shadal Construct. El Shadal Construct is really good. If she attacks a special summon monster, she instantly destroys it. When she's fusion summoned, you actually get to send a Spell Trap that's a, or you send any Shadal card you want from your deck to the graveyard. And if she's sent to the graveyard, you get to target a Shadow Spell or Trap in the graveyard and add it back to your hand, which is a really good effect. We then play Double Shadow Construct, the Link Monster, which is a really good card and going to be the main way that you're going to be summoning Construct in here. Now, she requires two uh, Flip Effect Monsters to be able to summon her, but that's not that big of a deal because it's you, everything you're playing is Flip Effect Monsters, so basically you just use two monsters. But she has a really good effect as well that during your main phase, you can fusion summon a Shadow Fusion Monster from your extra deck using monsters in your hand or field as fusion materials. And if this card is in the graveyard, you can send a Shadow card from your hand or face her in field to the graveyard if you do special summon this card. She, she lets you kind of tag in and out your Shadow Fusions, which is really good, and she's a walking polymerization, which is really nice for Shadows. We then played two copies of Tendangle Acute Cerberus. Tendangle Acute Cerberus is really good. It takes three Tendangle monsters to summon this card, and it gains 3,000 attack if uh, you have 
three or more Tendangle monsters with different names in your graveyard, including Tendangle Base Gardena. And then it gains 500 attack for each Tendangle monster this card points to as well. And at the end of the battle phase, if this card declared an attack, you get to special summon a Tendangle token to your side of the field. That's a level of level one, zero, zero, which can help you get into additional plays. This card is a really interesting boss monster. I really like what it does for the deck. And it's a really awesome card as well. Like I love the artwork of this card. We then play a single copy of Cross Sheep because it's a primarily fusion link based deck. So this card comes in pretty handy to get you into some really good plays, especially with the effect of being able to special summon a monster back from the graveyard if you fusion summon, which is really helpful. One copy of Subterra Behemoth Fiendus. Subterra Behemoth Fiendus has a really good effect that you gain. It gains attack equal to the combined original level of all Subterra monsters used to link summon this card. And then during the main phase, you can send one uh, flip monster from your deck to the graveyard. And if you do special summon a monster from your hand and face down defense position, do zone this card points to, which is the big effect that you're going to be using with this card all the time. It also has the ability to once per turn, if a monster this card points to is flip face up, you get to add a flip monster from your deck or graveyard to your hand, which is another really good effect for this card. We then play a single copy of Selene, Queen of the Master Magicians. This card helps out a lot of the deck because you do play some spell casters in here. So you can use this card to get out a copy of, say, your access code really, really easily. We play a single copy of IP Masquerade because you can actually link summon during your opponent's turn using this card. One copy of Phoenix to pop spells and traps and a copy of Unicorn to spin cards off the field and use your copy of IP Masquerade to go in this card. And then the same copy of Access Code because access code helps out the deck a lot to go into this card during um, your turn to be able to pop cards on your opponent's side of the field. It's a really, really good card in this deck, but you can be Boral Load or Boral Sword if you want to change it out for either of those to get this deck a little bit more budget. So that's it for the deck, guys. I hope you enjoy it. It's a really fun deck to play around with. I highly recommend that if you've never played with 10 Dangles before and you're looking for an interesting, uh, basically flip effect deck, this is a really interesting one. It's super fun to play around with, especially with all the different combos that you can go into into this deck especially with using the acute cerberus it's a really insanely good boss monster surprisingly and it will really surprise your opponent and no tk them so anyways guys this is dark arm duels don't forget to like comment subscribe hit the bell in there so you can come part of notification squad and definitely check out the patreon in the description below for all those awesome rewards and we'll see you guys in the next video see you later guys